Hi everyone, welcome back. Time for Market Moves on MT4. Today, Thursday, 27th of October. And holy moly, we got a fair bit of uh, momentum going yesterday. Kind of in our favor. Let's see if uh, today's market movement will support us again as well. The pound stronger, the euro rocking higher or has moved quite high yesterday and that looks uh, at least as markets would potentially continue to your heels uh, slightly lower as well now as we can see 10 years uh, as well heading towards lower levels could potentially even give us a turnaround candle if you would see a close below the four percent level which actually also is a remarkable psychological resistance uh, support area of course in this case and the dollar index is uh, kind of heading lower whether momentum possibilities though and that's the interesting part here recent resistance now support so we could see that for whatever reason any such stronger news event could kick in and could support a bit of a, a stronger dollar in the next couple of days potentially one event we might have which we can all read here if we are able to speak and read the thai language i can speak a bit but not read um, is that uh, definitely in this case the expectation could come from the uh, federal uh, no, of course the european central bank wrong uh, wordings here so we got the uh, um, uh, european central bank's uh, interest rates decision uh, coming up today there's somehow looks missing here that's kind of interesting so and that obviously it could spark a further market momentum 75 basis point rate hike is the expectation which i would say could happen actually and uh, would potentially not be a strong and positive move and i somehow doubt a little bit as well that the euro is following up with a lot of strength here uh, to begin with any sort of slight weaker interest rate adjustment any slight weaker rise in rates as we've seen from the canadian bank uh, uh, yesterday actually it could be of uh, interesting motivation potentially we see the market is at an important uh, level and i would call it the 101 101 20 area which obviously could uh, uh, cause the markets to also change direction again to the downside. Whether this is a longer term trend or whether the market also follows up with this uh, weekly chart here, support on the left, resistance on the right, could at least give us something of a movement. I would say any sort of rise to the upside, any sort of strong push higher would be a confirmation for me to sell into the market i would wait later and see how we can uh, uh, see this current movement i mean we could see already that the market is uh, following up with a bit of bearish price action here um, as we speak the market basically off the uh, uh, daily time frame say in the hourly charts here always one uh, vertical uh, set of lines marks one trading day and uh, this could tell us that further motivation in this market to fall is uh, at least uh, what uh, we could expect to happen um, to happen uh, somehow later, which is at least uh, what I would see and say it might be the interesting situation here uh, anytime soon. So euro dollar may be weaker potentially of some sort, and that's the biggest uh, piece of news event here um, for the day. We yesterday opened during the uh, uh, Canadian news event. So Bank of Canada released their interest rate. We uh, saw a slight weaker than expected uh, momentum. I'm not sure why these exclamation marks are not loading. Yeah. Anyways, we saw a slight uh, weaker adjustment. Expected were four percent. We only got only a 75 uh, uh, basis, sorry, a 50 basis points uh, rate increase, and that obviously uh, caused the uh, Canadian dollar to weaken slightly. Again, not quite a lot to be honest. Uh, of course, in uh, actual terms 120 pips is quite a fair bit if we are looking at the euro canadian dollar however at the same time the euro was uh, kind of uh, pushing this markets to the upside uh, as well if you're looking at it from the uh, dollar against the canadian dollar term we didn't get any sort of movement in the end right so it was more or less i think uh, baked in that potentially a slight uh, 
slight less hawkish message. The hawkish message obviously came that uh, um, 75 basis points are expected to tackle inflation, uh, kind of strong workforce, um, also similarly to the uh, US. And um, in this case, we got a bit of a disappointment. And that disappointment obviously uh, caused the markets to trade somewhat uh, weaker here, uh, somewhat causing the markets to uh, a turn again here towards uh, lower levels uh, in this case. How is it happening right now? I mean, uh, we still had our trade open and I closed it uh, in some profit. Now I would say the market looks actually quite interesting uh, to favor another push to the downside, supportive uh, line here, resistance point market potentially trading lower could be at least uh, the case when uh, looking at it from this perspective in the uh, US dollar against the Canadian dollar. And the question remains if this is kind of uh, really uh, going to support further weakness in markets uh, here and uh, whether of course the uh, Canadian dollar is able to strengthen somehow. I think the weekly chart, the longer term approach, as long as we uh, continue, at least if we, I mean, if the market doesn't move, it would mean uh, the bearish momentum could resurface in the near uh, couple of uh, trading days, at least uh, from this uh, perspective here, right? So weekly chart bearish and a retracement maybe early next week, and then bearish momentum likely due to continue. The monthly chart, however, is uh, telling us that the markets might still uh, favor some sort of a resistance play here, and in this case could cause the markets to turn slightly uh, to the downside uh, as well. So the question remains really on how this market goes and on how uh, the market momentum in this case is going to be expected um, to uh, to push through in the next uh, couple of uh, trading uh, uh, trading weeks. So that's uh, the question at least regarding the dollar against the uh, Canadian dollar here, and the, the market motivation obviously looks to be quite uh, quite interesting here causing me to believe uh, further weakness uh, it could be on the horizon. As long as the, the US dollar turns weaker and continues trading weaker, we can observe that uh, this market is running into this resistance area. We're talking silver now, but uh, I would say it still looks kind of good. And um, as long as we push towards this trend line, I mean, you know, I'm fundamentally in general rather of a believer that silver prices have much more upside uh, to celebrate in the near future than downside. Why? Because if we're looking historically, we can also use and adjust actually. Maybe that's uh, something interesting here. Let's uh, let me do this. Let me do the 200 and the simple 200. I don't know. Somehow most traders, as much as I remember from the past, from the professional side, have it in blue color. The 200 moving average uh, basically kicks in at current levels and we are slightly below this line. Does this mean anything much? Not quite, but uh, it means to me at least that uh, I think we are just at interesting levels where the upside potential uh, could be seen. If we are looking at uh, potential and it's, let's focus up, uh, focus on the recent long uh, stated history here. Um, we are trading rather at lower levels. That's uh, my observation when I'm looking at the max uh, high price. Uh, when I'm looking at medium prices, maybe I don't know. Maybe these could be the lines which we uh, which we should take into consideration. We are still trading considerably lower and. Uh, that's not obviously a justification, but uh, during crisis mode, COVID, silver lost, obviously further crisis mode uh, right now, further recession, potentially further inflationary movement, which I kind of doubt. I think uh, inflation will, will be here to stay, but not at these current rather high levels. So I think uh, the silver market might have a, a higher push to the upside, at least in front of uh, in front of it. So upside momentum is what I would see. And as long as the dollar doesn't play another big role, it's uh, quite, uh, quite interesting. Yesterday, we talked about the 21 simple moving average here. I believe it was, yes, um, with uh, gold. And that's uh, seemingly just not giving way to the upside. So market still supported. And it could be still, I mean, a news event here, European Central Bank, uh, uh, could uh, be of uh, interesting momentum in the near future. But definitely the upside, I think, is still potentially feasible, at least when I'm looking at these, uh, this falling trend line here, I would believe that another push to the upside could be seen and could offer us uh, some sort of a bit of a stronger reading in the a gold market. That's for this uh, in this regard. And then we got to the stock market. That's now tricky and interesting, right? Stock markets have pushed higher. We are now a long position. And uh, the long position, obviously, uh, in this case here, is uh, telling me that uh, further motivation in this case um, might be in. And uh, further motivation 
is uh, just not really happening much. We can see that the S&P is uh, falling up with a bit of sideways price action, maybe falling a bit. And I'm just wondering, is there anything which we have forgotten here? Maybe not, but um, will there be further sudden strength in the dollar at the news event, euro dollar down, pound dollar down, and hence the stock markets pushing down? Could be the case. That's at least the clear, the clear story I see. Looking at it from the NASDAQ perspective, we can observe that the NASDAQ is not doing anything much, in particular at the current levels where we observe that this market is just uh, simply trading in these uh, areas and without any hesitation seemingly just uh, starting to brush off uh, the recent gains again i think uh, further weakness might be on the cards and uh, this further weakness here in this market might cause uh, the um, a nasdaq to be off slight weaker nature so a motivation for the to the downside i think uh, might be a key takeaway and uh, this uh, momentum here in, the, in this case uh, could be uh, it could be quite interesting to observe weekly chart pushed higher but it's just starting to fade already that's the key takeaway uh, for me at least uh, but as you know I, I still feel that there is uh, something positive uh, somehow to come potentially at least uh, as the market's uh, motivation does not sound to be extremely negative in this case uh, and hence obviously could uh, help us uh, with uh, further motivation in this case here uh, to some upside potential as well anyways sideways and i'm on a side line here and then last but not least uh, the um, dollar against the jeppy is quite interesting it lost a lot of steam here and moved a lot and now offering some potential turnaround candle is this the big turnaround in the japanese yen i'm not really sure it's not really looking like this if we are looking at other crosses like the euro or the pound which are strong it's just the dollar which turns weaker and of course the dollar jeppy is worthwhile traded uh, here in particular at current levels where we can observe if the market fades at this extreme high point on the left here this would be a state-of-the-art trade of the decade kind of uh, um, entry opportunity maybe not trade of the decade that's a bit of a nonsense here for me but uh, trade of the year based on textbook uh, uh, formations of course it could be seen and uh, this is uh, like how we can observe it potentially targets target wise we have quite a few targets into either direction lower and um, that at least makes somehow sense to me when i'm looking at it from this perspective so long story that's uh, another sweet looking one in the next couple of trading days weeks let's see how this goes uh, i would expect a potential turnaround here after a sharp increase uh, in the dollar we could uh, also look at this uh, as the candlestick uh, shows us and potentially will offer us for the downside and momentum here karim hi frank what's the main reason for the bank of canada to raise interest rates by 50 basis points instead of 75 even though the inflation figures for october rose more than expected inflation rising more than expected yes karim but the point is my expectation that in this regard, um, the bank rather uh, uh, um, pushes towards a wait and see approach because these figures, and I've stated this uh, before here in my webinars, uh, they take quite some time. According to some analysts, uh, and uh, it makes sense to me, it takes roughly a year for these uh, uh, interest rate adjustments to be fully digested in markets. And hence, obviously, there is quite a bit of lag time if the, if the central banks now out of a sudden would uh, increase rates extreme sharply, which they anyways have been doing then this could cause as well some sort of rather negative side effects for the economy i think they are rather waiting as the expectation is from my side that elevate, elevated inflationary figures should be expected over the near and maybe longer period of time say two years or something as i would say but uh, definitely if you're only counteracting counterbalancing now by raising rates big time i think that's not really the necessary uh, and a very well done uh, approach and hence i think uh, they are waiting just rather to see how this goes because if we are looking at the actual level from the central bank we are already sitting at 3.75 percent right so it's not overly bad it's already uh, uh, quite interesting comparing this Obviously, um, with the European side, uh, we go uh, and see uh, different figures, right? So basically kind of half. So that's the interesting part we should uh, take into consideration. So in this case, uh, I think uh, wait and see approach. I have to be honest, I didn't read their statement yesterday. I followed the market and only traded it accordingly. Guys, we're going to meet up later on here. First of all, in the next, say, 45 minutes, uh, the same session in German language with our Frühstücksbörse 
uh, coming up here later on. Then today we also got in five hours, pretty much precisely, we got the ECB interest rate decision. That's gonna rock the markets. I'm happy to trade it live with you guys. So please tune in for the next session as well accordingly. See you later guys. Take care. Happy trading as always.